Okay, I'm back again. And um, I have four minutes left on this uh, on my break, so I'm gonna make this short video. It has to do with uh, Ronald Sterling or Donald Sterling, the um, owner of the LA Clippers. Now, now I've just read in the internet and in newspapers in the city that um, Donald Sterling was um, basically accused of. Uh, using a lot of uh, racial slurs or making a racist comment regarding African-American players, poor people. And he said, and I, I try to quote from the TMC website, that um, that he, he was like having a, some sort of argument with his girlfriend. And he said that it would be the... Um, I think the stadium would be better off if if um, any African Americans or black people didn't visit to see games. Or he said something to his girlfriend, stating that she he didn't want her to be seen with any African Americans or black people. Now I just looked at that and I was just surprised because um, who do you who does he think plays for his team? I mean, the majority of people that play for his team are blacks, African-Americans, black people. And it's like, to hear from this man, it was just atrocious and silly to me. And it's very, and kind of upsetting as well. But uh, I'm not surprised since, um, I'm not surprised since most of these um some of these black players in the NBA, they rarely ever um, stand up when they are insulted like that. And of course, being the owner, he uh, he makes money off their backs and kind of spits in their face in an indirect way, not directly, but indirectly. And that's how most sport owners are, or any of those people, since... Uh, most of these teams that are in the NBA, they're owned by uh, white people, particularly white Jews. But I heard something interesting about this commentary from this uh, Superboy 223 on YouTube. It's a speech by uh, Minister Louis Farrakhan, and Farrakhan was saying that uh, all these uh, leagues that these black players play in, they're plantations, and I have to agree with him. Because, sure, they're making in all this money and making millions of dollars, but what do they control? They don't control anything. They don't have any, they don't own anything, they don't control anything. And they're just getting rich. And all these team sport o sports owners and commissioners, they're getting wealthy off the backs of these athletes. And he said something about the NHL hockey, too. Because, I mean, the NHL is a plantation as well. Because even though there are white players on there, you got some black players on there that are just slaves to the just Gary Bettman. Now, he's another Jew. He was saying Gary Bettman is a Jew. He, well, of course, he's white. And people who own the CFL, he said something about Canadian football. I didn't think he knows. He knew Canadian football. But... Uh, CFL is probably seen all over the world, but this is not it's not as known well known as NFL. But uh, still, it's owned by a white man who is also a Jew. So, uh, yeah, and a lot of uh, black American players they play in the CFL. So in a sense, they're slaves as well. The CFL and um, Major League Baseball and NHL and the WNBA, which is a women's league. The women, black women there, they play a lot of basketball. So the WNBA is a plantation as well. So, uh, and this uh, Donald uh, Sherwitz or whatever, is, this Donald Sterling is a plantation owner. And he's uh, making comments about blacks. I mean, 
it's bad, but uh, when you when he you're in control of something, you get you have the right to insult. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but uh, you do they um, do insult a lot of people. I mean, when you own something, they can they can shit on people practically all day, and these NBA players cannot do anything about it. But I have to agree, it's pretty offensive. Now, the end of the league is investigating to see what was going on. And I would imagine that Donald Sterling will probably be suspended, and rightfully so. And that's all.